Internet. I am about to leave my house to go to the airport to go to Boston, where there is going to be a convention this weekend. NerdCon Nerdfighteria is a one-time convention based around the Vlogbrothers. It is their 10-year anniversary of making things for YouTube. So, I am all packed up. I am going to get in my car, drive to BWI, and go to Boston. Guys, I made it to the gate. But like, excitingly, I met two people who are going to NerdCon. We have Jen and Marion. Oh, point. Yeah. <laughs> We're all very excited, but also all here very early. overstimulated. I'm here, I checked into my room, I ran into a Charlie. I also ran into just like this random weird person who is the worst. We're having a good time and we're gonna do the things. All of the details. Woo! My problem with you not being on your bar. Absolutely. <laughs> I love when that is the answer. We're at Uno, Pizzeria, and Chloe's here, Josh is here, Charlie is here. Chloe and Josh were just walking by and we saw them. We were just walking by. Yeah. Hey, follow Abby on Swarm. <laughs> and stalked her. P.S. If you don't follow me on Swarm. For me. So were you coming in anyway? Like, yes. were you gonna come in anyway? I was like, Josh, this is Uno. Like, we got, I think I saw Abby in there. It's a good first night at NerdCon. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Maybe this is the end of the vlog tonight, maybe not. But you guys can say bye anyway. <laughs> good morning. It is Saturday. Just met up with Todd and we got some Starbucks. Now we're about to go open the cinema booth and then, like, get started with the day. Everything starts at 9. It's currently just like a little bit before 8. I am excited for things to like kick off and get going. <laughs> John. Oh my god. Uh, How soon is it going to be before I think that my haircut now is ridiculous? <laughs> Now you want to be in the vlog. Yes, Todd, bye! <laughs> One of my favorite things about a convention like this is everyone has the coolest shirt. Every person that I see, I'm like, I like, I want that shirt, I like that shirt. Look, it's a victor! Oh my goodness! We found a victor! crazy day and I feel like I've been super energetic for a lot of it but right now I am feeling done. I've had some coffee uh, so maybe like that would be a thing that should perk me up but whoo but man conventions are tiring but now I'm gonna go to the SciShow Q&A. Obviously that's a really interesting question you can talk about dinosaurs and all the different characteristics. Of course there's more it's always important just finding like the best the most exciting examples hoping that that'll inspire in a strange turn of events, we're at the booth. <laughs> it's near the end of the day. Uh, I think that the expo hall closes real shortly, and then we're gonna do a meetup. Who knows? Then who knows? I. Hey, this is Nerdcon, or hi, this is and you're watching what I'm doing right now. You're gonna practice? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
success? No! Okay, so the evening is done and it was kind of crazy. This is a cool conference because it's not like VidCon in that there are so many people and there's so much separation between the featured creators and people. Like, we're all here in the same hotel. I got to ride on an elevator with John Cozart and had a cool little conversation with him. And I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of been like a crazy day. Mostly it's been awesome. So yeah, that's it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow for day two. Good morning, friends. It is day two of NerdCon. I'm laughing because Rachel just walked up and saw me start to vlog. I was, I was literally about to say hi, and then she started filming, and I'm just like, well, I'm gonna wait a minute. So now this or is I'll even say better. hi to the internet. It's day two. Uh, we're excited. Lots of things are happening. I feel like I'm booked for panels all day. Starting with the Butt Fartman meetup. If you don't know what that is, I don't know how to explain it to you. So let's go. That uh, tickled us. We found uh, the words butt fart and it was one of those moments where we're just scrolling past and like, butt fart, butt fart. <laughs> yeah, you never know what's gonna happen. Weep wop boo, weep wop boo. Weep wop boo, weep wop boo. Tell people what animals the bones came from. What bones the animal, uh -huh. <laughs> A show called uh, The Nerd Writer. Um, and we are at the closing ceremony. I had a really good time, and I look forward to continuing to have a really good time. Hi, how is your NerdCon? Woo! And so what I think about in the last 10 years isn't, isn't the videos, it's the people. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and non-binary friends, welcome to SciShow Quiz Show. from this community. I guess you have an awesome weekend. Oh no, that's everything. It's all packed up. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Let's be responsible, Todd. It's over. It's closed. We're done. Woo! So we had dinner at Uno again. And now we're at Shake Shack. And we're gonna get some milkshakes, even though it is so freaking cold outside. Waking cold, yeah, waking cold. <laughs> so there's this shake called the Coffee Fair Shake. Our debate is why in the world is it called a Coffee Fair Shake? And why fair and shake are capitalized only for that one. So does this mean that the rest of the shakes are not fair? Are they unjust shakes? Unjust shakes? Unfair shakes? Or are they not capital S shakes? Does that mean they're inferior? Does that mean we need to worry about like what everyone else yeah, is getting? The shake quality of the not coffee shake. <laughs> it's it's worrisome to say the least. <laughs> Michael's Cruz hand. Oh. <laughs> like, if you had to explain why the coffee fair shake is a fair shake, but also capitalized in the way that it is. What would your My explanation be? My hypothesis would be that fair shake is a brand name of some sort. Maybe it's fair trade coffee. It's possible. Maybe. 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 I like I like our discussion better. Yeah. I'm just the truck driver. More Why creative, more fun. The drama. Despite the fact that it is super late now, uh, I guess I should wrap up the vlog for today by saying that holy crap, NerdCon is over. And it was so much fun, and I'm sitting in the lobby trying to get some work done, but uh, I think I need to go to bed because I'm super tired. Good night. I will see you guys tomorrow for my trip home. Good morning, internet. We just had some breakfast. I didn't take any video of it. Uh, we meaning me and Todd, but Todd doesn't want to be on video. It's our last day in Boston. I'm flying out this afternoon. And I'm pretty sad about it. I'm gonna walk like this, so Todd has to be in the video. <laughs> Your safety is our top priority. 
so we appreciate a few minutes of your attention while we demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. After a lot of waiting on a short flight, I made it back home. I want to talk so much more about this weekend because it was really cool and it was cool in a way that VidCon wasn't and I definitely think I prefer this smaller sort of convention where you have the opportunity to interact so much more with people and creators and it's not as overwhelming. I was sitting doing some homework last night in the lobby and all of these people walked by that I recognized from YouTube and who were featured, you know, guests at the convention and that was pretty cool. It was cool to get to see other people interact with the creators that they admired so much. It was fun walking around with Michael and everybody and seeing people come up and uh, talk to him and get pictures with him. I, that was a cool experience as well. I don't know, it was just really fun and I'm really grateful not only that I was able to go but that I was able to go in the context that I did and I was able to meet all of the people that I did. I just loved it. I <laughs> It never gets old, it never gets old to meet people from the internet and just feel immediately like you know them and that you have been friends for a while because I don't know that's a thing that we do here. You know, obviously you can't know everything about a person when you just watch their videos online or you just interact online, but I don't know, I think we do a really good job of imagining people complexly, as John would say, and as they mentioned so many different times this weekend. I don't know, I just think it's great, and I felt very moved by all of the things that happened this weekend, and just how much everyone appreciated what was happening. I'm so glad I got to go. I'm so glad that I got to meet so many people and have so many great adventures. And I'm really looking forward to the next time I get to do something like this. But now, it's back to real life. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Oh, no.